Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here, my name is Katie. I just did my workout. I am sweating so much right now, which is good because I normally like never sweat. Um, but yeah, that was a really good workout. Didn't do anything like a specific plan. I just kind of like did whatever I was feeling, did some legs and booty. So I am about to make some breakfast because I haven't eaten anything today. I've only like had my coffee and everything. But really quickly, I kind of just wanted to like chat with you guys about like body image, weight gain, like this whole like quarantine weirdness. You guys know that I always keep it real on my channel. I'm never gonna sit here and be like, oh my gosh, like my life is perfect and like I have it all together because literally no one has it all together all the time. And I think that that's one thing that social media really doesn't portray well is that like instagram and everything is people's highlight reels and even on youtube like vlogs and stuff it's so easy for us to cut out the bad parts of our day and only show whenever everything is going right so i wanted to chat with you guys really quickly because i know personally me i've been watching like other people's vlogs or seeing people on instagram that you know like are working out consistently they're eating clean like they haven't even gained a pound during quarantine and like you know they look great and they're like ready for summer and i think for me personally like i put on like i've definitely put on weight like i put on a solid 10 pounds um just during quarantine because i've just been eating so much because i'm like bored and so i feel like seeing other people like oh my gosh like they literally like why don't i have it all together like if everyone else is like doing amazing like why am i not i guess so what i really kind of i guess just want to like chat with you guys really quickly about is that like not everyone is going to handle different situations and like stressful situations stuff like that the same and if you're someone who you know is staying healthy during quarantine and like you feel the best you've ever been that's amazing but if you're also someone like me who's kind of been struggling with eating healthy not really feeling any motivation and you've maybe put on some weight or you just had body changes like whatever it may be or like mental health changes that is also okay like it is such a weird time for absolutely everybody and it's not just like a small something that happened like it was a major shift from our entire normal life what we're used to so i know that summer's right around the corner and you know at least me personally i'm like oh my gosh like i'm gonna have to put myself in a bikini soon but honestly like bodies are literally just bodies like they were god created them to get us from point a to point b to help us to live our life to help us you know like move things and pick things up and use our legs to walk us places like our bodies were not made to fit into like a certain like instagram model mold with like a 20 inch waist and double zero legs like that's not what everyone is supposed to look like and i think that that's really important to know that your body does not need to look a certain way and i think that society and you know instagram and social media has really made like this is what your body should look like standard almost and i think that a lot of times like us as girls we look at that we're like oh my gosh like that's what we need to look like like we do not need to look a certain way and we do not need to fit into a certain size of clothes or be a certain weight literally as long as you are taking care of your body you are feeding it well you are moving your body and you feel healthy, that is literally the only thing that matters. I feel like that's something that I kind of been struggling with because I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm 20 pounds heavier than I was a few summers ago and like I don't love it. But my goal now isn't necessarily to be like a specific weight or the weight that I was before. It's literally just to make myself feel healthy again. Right now I don't feel healthy. I feel really out of shape. I feel like I can't work out as much as I used to. I'm not eating clean. I really just want to encourage you guys to stop focusing on like, you know, your weight or comparing yourself to other people. Literally just focus on doing healthy things for your body like eating well and moving your body and everything else will balance out that's kind of how i've been feeling lately and in case there is anyone else out there feeling the same way as me i just kind of wanted to give you guys that encouragement but now we are going to make breakfast because i'm really really hungry i don't know what i want i think i'm going to make a strawberry banana smoothie that sounds pretty good Really quickly while I'm drinking my smoothie, I'm gonna go ahead and just plan out my day really quickly. Typically I'll do this like the night before, but I didn't last night because I got way too caught up watching Nashville. Um, shout out to Kinsey Piper and Julia Havens for getting me stuck on that show. I am so obsessed with it and I cannot stop binge watching it, which is kind of bad because yesterday was Monday and I didn't do one ounce of work. I sat on the couch for like eight hours and watched Nashville and I'm like, <laughs> So that was that. So that's why we're like being very productive today. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna kind of plan everything out before I hop in the shower really quickly. Um, I know a few of you guys were kind of asking like how I plan my day or how I structure my day, like how I stay productive um, whenever I'm not watching Netflix all day. So I wanted to share that with you guys really quickly. So really I do two things. The first thing is I have just like my week planner. Um, so it literally just has like big spaces to write down all the weeks and it has like a little priorities box. So this is what I will do either like every night before I go to bed or like in the morning, just so I can like bullet point out what I'm gonna 
do. Um, but then as far as like a big overview of everything that I need to do in like videos or if I'm doing like partnerships, um, I have this huge like desk calendar and I love this. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking where I got it from. Um, I actually got this one in like the $3 section in Target. So like when you very first walk in and there's that little like aisle of all like the random little knickknacks. I got it there actually. So this is something that I can't live without because it really helps me just like plan out my whole month. Anyways, but yeah, so for those of you who are kind of asking me like how I plan out my day, how I plan out everything like that, that's kind of just the tools that I use. Anyway, so yeah, this is how I plan out everything. I'm gonna go ahead and do all my planning real quick. Okay guys, update, just got a notification that all of my Amazon packages are here. I am, which way does this go? I am so excited for these. So I'm going to run down and grab those really quickly and I'll show you guys what I got. I'm really excited for these. Okay guys, so first thing I got is actually a box from Truth Bar. These are so good. Um, these ones are vegan and they literally taste like Almond Joy. My best friend Megan, Megan, shout out to you. If you're watching this, I love you. Um, but she actually introduced these to me and oh my gosh, you guys, these are so good. They seriously taste like a candy bar. They're so, so good. They're pre and probiotic, which is so awesome. Um, so they sent some dark chocolate and then also some chocolate raspberry coconut. These are so freaking good. Um, so thank you to you guys if you guys see this. I appreciate that so much. Cannot wait to eat these. And then I also got a box of clothes for a company that I'm working with. Um, and then this is everything else I got from Amazon. I got this new Devo, which I'm really, really excited about. So this one's the New Morning Mercies. I actually first saw this on Michelle Reed's channel. Um, I love her so much. She's so sweet. But... Um, I saw this on hers. She really recommends this. And then I had a lot of you guys recommend it too. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm honestly going to take off the cover because aesthetic. Um, <laughs> but anyways. Um, and then I also got this candle from Sweetwater Decor. I'm so excited for this because I really want like a nice spa day candle. And I saw this and I'm like, okay, I have to get it. Um, then I also got some more of my Mary Ruth's Liquid Warning Multivitamin because that's a staple and I love it. And then I got my sushi making kit. Super excited to try that. Okay guys, so I just hopped out of the shower and I just put my hair back in a bun while it dries. But I wanted to do kind of like a quick get ready with me today for like what I've been doing for my everyday makeup. Um, I've had a few changes in products. So I wanted to share those with you guys because literally so many of you guys have been asking like what I've been using lately, um, especially on my lips. So I'm super pumped to share all of that with you guys. So we're gonna jump right in. Um, first thing I'm just starting off with is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. And this is in... Three. That's just what this one looks like. This is the one that I use whenever I haven't tanned and I'm clearly very pale right now, which I really need to self tan. Okay, and then I'm gonna be taking this Sigma F80 brush just to kind of buff that out. Okay, and then after I've applied my foundation, I'm just gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This stuff is my favorite. Okay, so for my bronzer, I am so excited to be sharing with this brand with you. Um, they're actually sponsoring this portion of the vlog, so thank you so much to Girl Next Door Cosmetics. Okay, I am so obsessed with these products, and I'm not even saying this because it's sponsored. Like, you guys know me by now. I give my honest opinion on everything, and I'm not kidding when I tell you guys that their products are better than 90% of the products that I own that are high end. Like the $55 bronzer that I usually use, like I haven't used that in weeks. I literally only use this one. I'm so obsessed with this. So I'm actually gonna be sharing several of my favorite products with you guys throughout this Get Ready With Me. Um, but I am honestly so shocked and so like just surprised by their quality. Um, you know, like typically with smaller brands, like they have to build that. But the founder, Nicole, I mean, she nailed this whole collection on the head. Like she truly did such an incredible job. So I'll kind of be talking about this product throughout. Um, but the first one I'm going to be using is this bronzer. And this is in the shade 300 Golden Goddess. This is just what it looks like. It's this beautiful, beautiful, like sun kiss but it's not orangey it's just this absolutely beautiful shade of bronzer it's not orangey it's so pigmented as you guys can tell like a little bit goes a long way um but it blends so so easy okay so as you guys can see like it's literally a it blends out so nicely but it's just such a perfect color of bronze like i said it's like it's not orangey it's not too much it's such a gorgeous color um so i love adding a little bit on my eyes this is a trick that i've been doing forever um but you like don't really need to do eyeshadow. You can just use your bronzer. And then the next thing that I'm gonna be moving on to is blush. And this is another Girl Next Door Cosmetics one. Um, this is in the shade 294 Simmer. So this is just kind of like the shade of that. So as you guys can see, it gets just like such a nice, like gentle, delicate, feminine little like flush to your cheeks. And I love it. Okay, so now for my eyebrows, I'm just going in with my ABH Dip Brow Pomade. And this is in the shade Taupe. And then I'm using a Sigma E65 brush for this.
Okay, and then after I've applied that, I'm gonna go back in with my dip brow pomade, and I'm actually gonna take that same brush, and I'm gonna use it just to do kind of like a little bit of like a smoky eyeliner. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Voluminous Lash Paradise. I believe this is by L'Oreal. This is my absolute favorite. I don't think I will ever veer from another one. Um, so many of you guys have been commenting lately saying like my eyelashes look so long, and I swear it's just this mascara. Like I'll show you guys the difference here in a second, but it's literally the best. Okay, so here's the difference in my lashes. Like, it literally gives you so much volume on your lashes. It makes them so long. So, like I said, this is my absolute favorite. Um, I will have all of these products linked down below so you guys can check them out if you want to. Okay, so that's it for my face and my eyes. Um, and the last step I'm going to do is my lip. And the lip product that I'm going to use today is the one that literally all of you guys have been asking me about in, like, every single video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Girl Next Door Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Naked. This is just what it looks like. It is a pencil, which is nice. Okay, and then once I have that on, I'm going to go in with the Girl Next Door Cosmetics um, Lip Final in the shade 39 Do Good. This is just what this one looks like. So probably my favorite products out of their entire collection is their lip finals. And the reason why is that these lip finals are like a soft, buttery texture, super pigmented, but they're so hydrating on your lips. So they don't get like weird and gross and dry and crusty on your lips after a while. Um, super pigmented. They stay on super so so well um, and they just really make your lips like nice and plump and full and I just love the look that they give so then after I apply that one I'm actually gonna go in with another lip final and this is in the shade 48 legend so it's like a little bit of like a lighter pink a um, little bit more of like a baby doll pink almost and I'm just gonna put it right in the center and then this is it for the look it's so gorgeous so simple literally takes maybe like five minutes max um, and you look super put together. So like I said, I will have all of these products linked down below for you guys to check them out. And thank you again to Girl Next Door Cosmetics for sponsoring this video. I can, I'm so happy that I got to work with them and discover this brand. Okay, so right now it's 3 p.m. Um, so I need to start filming. I'm filming a YouTube Q&A for you guys because so many people have had so many questions. Um, so I'm gonna go change, get that filmed, and then I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. <sighs> okay, guys. My house is a disaster. I just finished shooting a bunch of clothes. Um, I'm working with like an app it's kind of like maybe like a stitch fix or something anyways but basically you just take pictures of yourself in their clothes so that people can like go through the app and kind of like it's like a swipe right swipe left kind of thing but for clothes and then you can order the clothes and try them on um it's like a newer app that i'm working with anywho so i just took a whole bunch of pictures and all of those clothes i have accessories and just my house is a disaster it's honestly like working from home and like trying on like 10 to 20 different outfits doing your makeup like all the stuff like your house just gets messy so quickly um anyway so right now it is 4 7 p.m um so i'm just finishing up editing some of these pictures i need to send them over to the brand for approval i need to reply to some emails i need to go over some contracts and at 5 p.m we're calling it quits for the day we're going to be making homemade margaritas i'm really excited to show you guys my recipe because so many of you guys asked um, whenever I posted it on my Instagram the other day so we're gonna do that I think I'm gonna make like a Mexican kind of like a burrito bowl so kind of like Qdoba or like Chipotle bowls um, I think I'm gonna make kind of something similar to that I also just got another notification that another package just got here so I need to go run down and grab that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will see you guys at 5 p.m. for margaritas <laughs> okay guys so this is what I got is this little elevated dining table um, I know a few of you guys had told me that like it's really bad for dogs to like bend over and eat um, and Kai doesn't really he typically lays down when he eats there's only a few times that he's like standing up but he always stands up to like drink his water and stuff and so I just decided to get this for him anyways it was pretty cheap it was like $20 off Amazon so it wasn't too bad um, anyways so we're gonna go try this out Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like up. It's like the perfect size for him. I don't know if he's actually gonna eat out of it. I guess we'll see, but a little doggy dining table. How cute is that? You're a bougie dog now. What do you think about that? Are you bad and bougie? Yeah, is that you? A bad and bougie doggo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before I start dinner and margaritas, I'm gonna do a quick little clean because I know after I have a margarita, like I am not gonna wanna clean. So we're gonna do that really quickly and then we're gonna have a margarita. Balance. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dinner and everything. First things first, we're making margaritas. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my homemade margaritas. This is seriously such a good recipe. It's, it's so nice and fresh and I love it. Um, I'm not like a huge drinker, so like I'm not like a tequila connoisseur. So I literally just get the Jose Cuervo silver tequila. I like it. Does the job fine. So let's make marks. Okay guys, so to start this off, I like squeezing three whole limes just into a jar. You can do like a shaker. My shaker is in the wash. 
Okay, and then after I added that in, I'm gonna go with my tequila and add about a shot, shot and a half. Then I'm gonna take some triple sec, add it probably about the same amount. I really don't measure, honestly. Okay, and then the last thing that I'm gonna add in is just some simple syrup. This is totally optional. You can use like agave if you want to to sweeten it. So I'll just do about a squirt in there. Then I will just mix it all up. And then once I have enough, I'll just pour it over ice. Drink the rest. Okay, and then the last step, I'm just gonna take a half of a lime, cut a little sliver off, do a slit down the middle, do a little twist, stick it on the rim. And voila, it's like so light and refreshing and it's not like a gross like margarita mix. It's just like so heavy, so good. Okay, let's make some dinner. Okay, so for my dinner, I'm gonna be making those kind of like chipotle bowls. Um, so what I do is I just take rice. I just have a huge thing of minute white rice because we all know I can't cook rice. And then I absolutely love chipotle's um, like corn salsa. So all you do to make that one is just do sweet corn. Um, you dice up some red onion. You add in a bunch of lime juice. And then you just mix it all together. Let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then I'm also gonna make a little bit of guacamole. So my guacamole, how I make it, um, is just red onion, lime juice, salt, and pepper. I keep it super simple. I don't like tomatoes or spices, anything like that really. Um, I like it super simple. Um, and then I'm gonna put all of that on a bed of just romaine lettuce So I will see you guys as soon as I finish making that so you guys can see the final product so Right now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some Nashville because I like watching a show while I cook So we're gonna do that drink my marg make our Mexican food. It's gonna be a great night Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. I'm so excited to eat this um, So I just have my guac my little corn salsa my cilantro and lime rice and then under here is literally all romaine lettuce, so it's like a big ol' chipotle bowl salads so i'm gonna go eat this i think i'm gonna make another margarita and then i'm gonna put on nashville kind of relax for the evening and then i will check in with you guys in a little bit i love the way she moves yeah when she's watering our garden with the headphones singing off key ariana through the window 